啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦，叉叉。Hello, everyone, to a new video about algebra. Now with a theme song. I'm here today with my two daughters, Natalie and Julia. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. And today we're going to talk about、uh, equations with addition and subtraction. Okay. So let's do a quick、uh, recap of what we've seen so far. Previously in algebra for kids. So we saw what is algebra. We said that algebra is the art of balancing equations, and、uh, we learned what is a variable or an unknown. Natalie, remember what that is? The mystery number in an equation. I should、yeah. watch this one tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's a good video. And、uh, we also saw a video about what is algebra good for. Remember, Julia? Remember what it's good for? Solve problems and equations. Yes, like this equation. This came up in the last video, and that's a, a little bit of an advanced equation. We don't know how to solve yet. So what we're going to do in this video is to start learning how to solve equations. Okay. So, but first we need to learn the very first rule about how to solve equations, which is rule number one. Natalie, can you can you read it? We can add or subtract the same number from both sides of a true equation to get another true equation. Great, so that's correct. <clears throat> This is fundamental. We we are able to add numbers to one side of the equation, and if we add the same number to the other side of the equation, then we get another true equation.、So、here's an equation about bananas, and.、Um, By the way,、yeah. these bananas represent the way too many bananas my dad eats a day. <laughs> <laughs> I am a, a big fan of bananas. That's right. I eat a lot of bananas. So,、um, yeah. Julia,、uh, what what does this equation say? Two plus three equals five. There is two Wait, bananas. There's a brown thing on that one. Oh, we're missing a, a stem here for one of the bananas. Good point.、Mm -hmm. So this equation says that two bananas plus three bananas equals five bananas. And、uh, what rule number one says is that if I add the same number of bananas to both sides of the equation, then I get the same、uh, another equation that is also true. So if I put a banana here and a banana here with their stems, so Julia doesn't get upset. With their stems. Then we get a new equation. This is no longer two plus three equals five. It's two.、Uh, how, how many bananas we have now? Three plus three. Three plus three, three equals, equals six. Six. But and, that's not a six. And now it's a six. So this is another true equation. And similarly, instead of adding, we can subtract to both sides. So, for example, if I subtract two bananas, one here and one here, and another two here, then I'm going to get another equation that is true. How many bananas do I have now? Two. There are two. And two. So and two, two plus two equals, equals four. Four bananas, and that's another true equation. Is that how you write your fours? Yeah, that's how I write fours. How do you write fours? Like this? Like that? I draw it. How do you I write a four? I draw it like that. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway,、uh, so yeah, so that's what you can do to equations with rule number one. You can add and subtract the same number to each side to get another true equation that is also true. Can I see that smiley face, please? Oh, Natalie, did you draw that smiley face? The smiley face?、Mm, maybe. maybe. Okay. Let's、uh, let's use rule number one to solve a problem about Easter eggs. So here is our problem. Natalie, can you read the problem? Natalie found four Easter eggs, and Julia and Natalie together found eight Easter eggs in total. How many eggs did Julia find? Okay, so we have an unknown,、uh, a mystery number, which is this, which is how many eggs did Julia find? What we do know is that Natalie found four Easter eggs. Here they are, and that together Julia plus Natalie's eggs. Add up to how many eggs in total? Eight. Eight. Eight Easter eggs. So this is the total of Easter eggs they found. So what we're going to do then is try to find how many eggs Julia found by 
subtracting x from both sides of the equation. So uh, I'm going to remove an egg. Here is this egg is going away. Here then I have to remove it also on this side. Then I'm going to remove uh, this egg and I'm going to remove it on this side also. What happened? What happened? I know these are they they drew uh, they Natalie and Julia drew these Easter eggs and they look super Do nice. Do not erase but, mine. But you always erase mine first. Well, they, they have to go. They just have to go. So, um so let me remove this okay, here. And last one, I'm going to remove no. this one. No, 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 and don't. this one on this side. What do you always have to be that? And what we get is that these are the eggs that Julia found. Okay. Here is the eggs that Julia found are these. So Julia found four eggs. Good thing we both got the same amount because then I would get mad if I left. <laughs> I know. I would literally steal all of Natalie's eggs. So I had no. eight eggs and she had two. No stealing. No, no, no. Okay, so Julia found four x, and what we did was subtract x from both sides of the equation to find an equation that says x equals a number uh, on the other side, and that tells me how much x is. So x was four in this equation. I'm tired. Okay, all right. So uh, Natalie, let's try this again uh, with a bunch of other equations. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing I've done before. So um, from an equation like 3a plus 5, what I'm going to do is subtract to both sides of the equation to get an equation about a to find out what the value of a is. So for example, in this equation, I'm going to subtract 3 on this side and subtract 3 on the other side to find the value of a. So if I subtract 3 on this side, then I just have, since this is 3 plus a, minus 3, I just get a. And on the other side, I have 5 minus 3. And how much is 5 minus 3, Natalie? 2. So a equals 2. Okay, so I've solved that equation like that. How about this one, Natalie? Can you, uh, can you tell me? So what, uh, uh, can I subtract? to both sides, uh, the number two. Yeah. And then what do I get? B equals seven minus two. Seven minus two, because I subtracted uh, two on this side and two on that side. When I subtract two on this side, I just get B. And when I subtract two on this side, I get seven minus two. So B is, how much is seven minus two? Five. Five. So I've solved that equation, or Natalie solved that equation. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's let's pick another color here. Uh, how about uh, this equation, Natalie? What do we do with uh, with that equation? So C would equal eight minus four. Eight minus four, and then C equals. Uh, how much is 8 minus 4? 4. 4. Okay, so that is uh, the solution. Uh, let's do now uh, this equation right here. So this I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to subtract 2 to both sides. So on the left hand side, I get D. And on the right hand side, I'm going to get 8 minus 2. So D equals 6. Is that right, Natalie? Yeah. Yep. And uh, last one, Natalie. So 5 plus E equals 12. So I think I have to, what, what do we have to do? E equals 12 minus 5. So in this case, we're going to subtract 5 to both sides. So on the left hand side, I get E. On the right hand side, I get 12 minus 5. And how much is 12 minus 5? What do you think? 12 minus 5 is... 7! Yeah. Yes. 7. And uh, and that's it. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. Bye. And.
and uh, yeah goodbye next time we're gonna try uh, to solve some more equations of this type okay bye bye everyone bye.